What's up everybody and welcome back. So like me, you're probably excited about the Fujifilm X-H2S. Now rumors been coming out for the last few months, but honestly, I don't pay attention to them until Fujifilm released the information themselves. Now needless to say, I am very impressed with this camera. It pretty much checked all the boxes that I had for my Fujifilm X-T5 wishlist. And like a lot of you guys, I'm picking that camera up when it becomes public. Now the features that I am excited about are the video centric features. We all know that Fujifilm is one of the best brands when it comes to photography. And the updates to the autofocus and new features are welcome additions. Now as a filmmaker and colorist, these are the features that I am most excited about. Now the first is the 6.2K that the Fujifilm X-H2S will now shoot natively, which is amazing. Now the camera that I'm shooting on right now, the Fujifilm X-T4, does capture your information in 6K, but it downscale your image down to 4K and camera. This does explain why the Fujifilm X-T3 and X-T4 always had amazing image quality. I am also excited for the F-Log 2 because the original F-Log was always a pleasure to work with once I learned how to color grade properly. And I don't expect nothing less from the Fujifilm F-Log 2, especially since that profile is supposed to have one to two stops more than the original F-Log. I am also excited that the Fujifilm X-H2S will be able to shoot B-RAW via HDMI. The ability for Fujifilm to have their camera to be able to shoot B-RAW will give so much control over the image and the colors. This is a game changer. Now I do wish Fujifilm would have created their own RAW codec, but to be honest, B-RAW is perfect for me. I edit everything on my Mac Mini, I use DaVinci Resolve, B-RAW is native to DaVinci Resolve, so that means my computer should have no issue color grading this codec. Now with the ability to shoot B-RAW, even over HDMI, I am hoping that Netflix will approve this camera for feature films. Now that is me just having high hopes, but honestly, anything is possible. I am also excited for B-RAW because this will let me work in the Asus color space. I am super excited about that and honestly, I can't wait for that. Now I haven't seen this, I have to look at the specs again, but I'm pretty sure that the B-RAW will be 12-bit. Now if my Mac Mini is not enough to handle that Kodak, then I also have the M1 14-inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip. That's more than enough for me to actually color grade and edit B-RAW. And speaking of HDMI, I am more than excited that this camera will have a full HDMI port. Thank you Jesus. Now besides B-RAW and F-Log 2, the Fujifilm SH2S will be able to shoot ProRes natively all flavors of ProRes. Now, while most people is excited for that feature, me honestly, I don't care because my Mac Mini can actually handle H.265 perfectly without having to transcode that footage. So I wanted to make this quick video because I am pretty excited about this camera and I cannot wait to get my hands on it come July. Now, what features are you guys most excited about? Just let me know in the comments below. So I also want to know from you guys, what else you want to see on the channel? You want to see more camera reviews, more lens reviews, more color grading tutorials? Leave a comment below and tell me what you would like to see. Now with wedding season in full swing, I'll most likely just be making one video a month. This will also give me time to think about what I want to create, what I need to film, and actually provide the best image quality possible for these videos. This will also make sure that these videos have something of value that can help you along in your journey. So like I said, anything you want to see and learn, just leave a comment below. But before you guys go, what I want you to do is smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Peace.